ruined my progress. I didn't want to go and overeat. I didn't want to not have homemade food. But what I didn't realize was that I was missing out on so many important locations, so many important things that I, sh that I could have, that I should have been doing. I know that I am at a better place now and I feel so much happier. I feel so much better. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going over what I eat in a day to stay healthy. I was very particular about using that word staying healthy and not staying slim because I think most importantly, we've always said in this channel, we need to focus on progression and not perfection. And that's why I don't want to use the word slim. I think that's very vague. There's slim people that are still feeling unhealthy that are eating hot Cheetos that are not necessarily healthy. So that's why I use that word staying healthy. So let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna go be going over is breakfast. So for breakfast, I like to keep it very simple. Just we're making some eggs, you know, getting the protein in, putting some pico on top to get a little flavoring. For some reason, I've just been super obsessed with pico de gallo lately and I've been making it myself. I don't know how I didn't even look at a recipe. I just kind of tried my own thing. So I've been putting tomatoes, cilantro, some red onion or purple onion. I can't ever get it right if it's red or purple, but it's you know what I mean, what kind of onion it is. A little bit of lime and then salt and pepper and avocado I add. And then the coffee, this is my two go coffee. Always make my coffee like this. You know, I just put eight ounces of coffee, black coffee, and then I add chocolate milk, but I warm it up. So I'll put 40 seconds in there and this coffee kind of tastes like a white chocolate mocha from Starbucks. I'm not exactly, but it tastes super good. And I've been drinking this coffee like this probably for over two years. And then on the side, I just have a bagel. I ate half a bagel because funny story, we actually only had one bagel left and Rain wanted to have breakfast with me. So we just shared the bagel, you know, sharing is caring. So I kind of gave him half of my bagel and then I ate half of the bagel. Usually I have a full bagel. This keeps me super full probably until lunch. Now for lunch, we're switching things up. I actually, I don't know why I recorded what I eat in a day today because I don't have any food in my fridge. So I had my backup. I had my Cubano black beans that I'm just gonna be, you know, making real quick. It's super simple. I don't add a lot of stuff. They already come seasoned. I get these at Trader Joe's. I just honestly chop up some onions, some pepper, put some oil in there. I don't really measure the oil. I used to before, but I've said this before. Uh, it's just for my mental health, I do not measure a lot of stuff anymore. I just kind of eat however and whatever makes me feel healthy. So I just put a little bit of oil in there, then saute the onions and the peppers, and then add the beans on top of that. Like I said, they're already seasoned, so you don't really have to add much. I just added a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then on the side, we have one cup of rice. Put as much water as it goes to the little line one on the rice cook maker. Add a little bit of oil. This I do measure, so it's one tablespoon of oil. I add a little bit of salt and then I add the chicken Goya just seasoning and then that's pretty much it. So it's very simple as you can tell as of right now. Breakfast has been super simple for lunch is super simple too. I'll probably just go ahead and add pico onto my beans and rice and then for dinner let's go ahead and see. I still do not know I need to go grocery shopping because I'm recording this video and don't have food like I said. So just stay tuned to what we're having for dinner because I don't even know. I guess so it is dinner time. I did do a little bit of grocery shopping. I got some of my favorites. You guys already know what my favorites are because I've done a few videos now at this point about my favorite foods. So I'll probably, you know, leave a little link over here so you could watch some of those videos once you're done with this video. But I did a little bit of grocery shopping, got some necessities, and I got some dinner. So this video is to be realistic, right? About what I eat in a day, being super realistic, what I eat in a day on the week, what I eat in a day, would you consider this my cheat day? Which I don't necessarily like using the word cheat day because I feel like you don't really need a cheat day to feel satisfied a cheat meal will suffice. Some of the things like today, you know, had a pretty light breakfast. It was not that big of a breakfast for lunch. It was a pretty small breakfast or lunch, I will say. And then, you know, those pastries that I had, that wasn't that much. I had a little of coffee. Those are some of the small things that just make me super happy. Maybe for you, it's a pack of Skittles, a pack of, I don't know, some type of chocolate that you really like, but you don't necessarily have to have a cheat day. Now for me, it was kind of, I had a cheat snack, I would say with the coffee and the little cheese croissant. And then for dinner, I'm having pizza. So that will be considered my cheat meal. 
So that's how I kind of do things. Another tip that I'll have for you for your cheat days or your cheat meals is this is what I personally like to do. If I know that I'm going out with a girlfriend or with Rain or whatever, I already know that I have dinner plans for that night, right? What I do is I like to eat a super small breakfast, either a small breakfast or I'll make it mostly protein like eggs and cheese and maybe ham. I never buy ham, but if I had ham, I'd make it like a protein based breakfast. For lunch, I would probably have something small too, maybe like a salad, just something really small focusing on protein too. And then for dinner, I would order that margarita. I would order that plate of food that I want because I've been saving up all my calories since breakfast, lunch has all been kind of light. And for dinner, I'm just enjoying that plate of whatever. I mean, I like usually like steak, and vegetables and potatoes, but I'll eat my whole plate and just enjoy it. I'll enjoy the chips and salsa if that's what I'm having before, and I'll definitely enjoy that margarita. So for dinner, I can kind of go all out. Plan ahead. I feel like planning ahead is a really good thing to do, especially when you have those goals that you want to meet. Right now, I do not track calories. I just kind of know what my body needs. I've gone through so much stuff where, you know, I was very obsessed with counting calories and it was just mentally not okay for me. I was very light at that point in my life and I felt like I was doing hit every single day. It's just, I just wanted to be super thin and I don't know what I was thinking. Now this is the heaviest that I've ever been, but I feel so happy. I feel confident and I look back at those pictures and I love honestly how toned I was and I'm like, ooh, I like that. But I think back about how my mental health was back then and that is not the girl that I would want to be again. And I feel bad for that Brittany because she was missing out on going out with her friends. You know, if her friends were like, hey, we're having a birthday party, let's go out for dinner. I'd make up an excuse and say, no, I can't go. I have this, I have that because I didn't want to go and ruin my progress. I didn't want to go and overeat. I didn't want to not have homemade food. But what I didn't realize was that I was missing out on so many important locations, so many important things that I, sh that I could have, that I should have been doing. I know that I am at a better place now and I feel so much happier. I feel so much better. Now, is my body changing? Yes, it has. My arms aren't as toned. I have a little bit of belly. My glutes aren't as toned. But I think what's most important is that I am still living a healthy life. So I'm still putting in cardio into my routine. I'm still going to the gym. I'm eating what I want I feel really happy and I don't feel like my mental health is just bad like it used to be. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind when it comes to this and I felt like it was super important to make this video. Yes, I could make a what I eat in a day on a regular basis because this is not how I eat every day. I'd be lying to you if I said eat like this every single day and you could look like Coca-Cola or whatever. No, some of us aren't blessed like Brianna and we can't have that Coca-Cola shape. That's why I felt this video was so important. Like I said, yes, I could have made a video where I was eating, you know, my breakfast, nice, neat breakfast and my lunch, nice, neat lunch with vegetables, chicken and rice. And then my dinner, some potatoes, uh, steak and, and vegetables. Yes, That's like what I normally eat every day. I still have my chocolate at night. But this was the weekend style edition of what I eat in a day. This was my cheat day of what I eat in a day because I wanted you guys to see that living a healthy lifestyle should not be about missing out on important events because you're stuck on this diet that you're supposed to be doing. It shouldn't be about you're eating a piece of salad every single day. If you like salads, eat those salads, eat them up because I've talked about in my videos, I personally like the Wendy's salad. So when I go on a road trip, I choose to eat that salad because it tastes delicious, but I choose to do that. Before I was forcing myself to eat things that I probably didn't even like, that I didn't enjoy, I had this this mentality in my mind that I had to look like someone, that I had to just get thinner, 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 thinner. And that's not what I want you guys to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. There is a quote that I wanted to mention today because I feel like it ties in really well with the video. Pulling out my little book. The quote of the day is, growth is growth no matter how small. And I think that is the quote that I chose for today because if you're having a cheat meal, like you saw in this video today, don't feel so bad about yourself. If you're a beginner to this healthy life, lifestyle don't feel terrible about eating that chocolate eating that burger because the simple fact that you can go to a drive-thru and be like hey I'm choosing water over soda is a huge accomplishment the fact that you're going through that drive-thru and you're saying hey can I have a banana or an apple but you know instead of the chip it's a huge 
mind shift. It's a huge shift in your life and you should be celebrating those little wins. Take it one step at a time. Focus on the one step that's right in front of you and then you'll get to the goal that you want to. But we have to start little by little. If you start all at once, you're gonna give up. I've been there. I know what I'm telling you. It's how us human beings are. Guys, thank you so much for watching, for sticking around. Let me know what your favorite cheap meal is. Thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.